Okay, we're here with the uh, local gendarmes now, as well as uh, Robert Moon from Applicator 3D. Sorry for the French accent. Because the unbelievable thing is, if someone gets an Asian hornet's nest, or even a wasp nest, I believe, this is what uh, Robert's been saying to us, they get in touch with the police, and the police get in touch with him. <laughs> it's like, what a great, what a great way to do things. Uh, how to be like that in the UK. Let's go and see what they have to say about the Asian hornet. Wow, it's a big old beast, isn't it? As I was just saying, we're, we're here with uh, Robert and this is the local municipal police. Uh, pleased Hi. to meet you. And just tell us how the whole system works here. So if I lived in France mm -hmm. and I find an Asian hornet in, in my garden. So you, you, you call, you call the, the police and after that, uh, we're going uh, where the the nest. The nest here, and we call Robert uh, to kill. The... So he's on he's on speed dial, the <laughs> emergency man. Yeah, I am. <laughs> wow, and that's some beast that is. That's one that's been in a tree. Nest. This was uh, down here. So this one was treated with the paintball. So the paintball gone. Yeah. Wow. It was accessible. In the summertime, when all the leaves are on the trees, they're very difficult to um, to find. But when the leaves fall out fall off the tree, you think, well, big nest. So I work in conjunction with the police uh, municipal. Nice car over there. We're regulated. Everybody knows about the Asian Hornets. Everybody contacts the police. The police contact me. There's not a beekeeper involved. It's police, pest. Professional, professional, yeah. dead. That's the way it should be done. That's the way it should be done. So let's have a look at um, the application uh, things that we use and uh, we'll let the police get on with what they need to be doing, police in the community exactly. and looking out for Asian hornets. Okay. Thank you very much. Merci bien. Well, thank thank you. Thank well, you very much indeed, sir. Asian hornets, how do you treat them? Let's find out how an English pest controller in France does it the French way, but he does it properly. After many years of people treating them wrongly and the problem getting bigger and more out of hand, and then Robert Moon's come along and he's shown them all how to do it. Let's have a look and see how you treat the Asian hornet. So, Robert, how do you treat them? So they're up in a tree, they're 40 meters up, what are you gonna do? If, if it's less than 25 meters, I've got a, a extendable pole, lance telescopic, um, which I can get up and access the nest. I inject the nest directly um, with an insecticide. The insecticide I use is two options. One's uh, permethrin based. The mm -hmm. other one is perpinyl butoxide, okay. which is chrysanthemum based. Trouble with that is it's less effective at over 25 degrees. Ah, right, but okay. In order to, you've seen the nest. In order to, to uh, kill a nest that size, you need about that much product, which is about 100 grams of insecticide. Wow. It, it's not a lot. Ah. If, I mean, it says on the packet, you know, dangerous for aquatic life. That is not going to kill all the fish in a lake. Okay. It's, you will get residue, you will get hornets flying off over a lake. You can do as much prevention as you like, but to be quite honest, the amount of product you need to kill an Asian hornet is about that. So if you've got 10,000, you've got 10,000 hornets in a nest mm -hmm. with 100 grams, it's 0.001 gram per, per, per hornet. So rub your finger along the screen of a TV, that's how much dust you need to kill a hornet. That isn't going to kill your car. And of course, as soon as, soon as it goes into, into the nest as well, a, pan a, a panic a, a exactly. starts between all the hornets yep. and they start intermingling and spreading it between themselves as yep. well, don't they? When you inject the nest, um, there's an immediate panic. All the hornets um, flap their wings uh -huh. and then they'll distribute the whole nest, contaminate the whole nest within about 30 seconds with this product. The nest will be effectively dead in 30 seconds. You will get activity up to about half an hour. No different to a wasp nest. Wow. No different to a wasp nest. Whilst the nest is dying, they'll send off pheromones and all the other hornets in the area will come back to their nest. Again, they're territorial, so same as a wasp nest, same as a yeah. hornet nest. 
they'll come back to their nest. If they go into another nest, they'll die. If they go into that nest, they'll die. Just put that away. <laughs> and this is a sack of the product here. That's the product I use. Uh, Pemex D. All the products I use are available in the UK, but French law is they have to be in French. Every packet has to be in French. I can't use English products over here. Yeah. The uh, Fiche de Sécurité, the MSDS, has to be in French. Everything's in French. Okay. So that goes in my DR5. Good old DR5. <laughs> Good old DR5. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I'll get my tool out in a minute. Normally, what we do if there's an Asian hornet nest smaller than a, a handball or a football, you can remove it, but you don't need to because a dead nest is a dead nest. Yeah. If it's up there, there's no need to remove it. Yeah. Leave the nest in place. Yeah. Same as wasp nest. More often, do they leave the nest in place. Yeah. Leave the nest in place. Hundred percent. You don't need to remove it. Excellent. It's too big. It's too risky. You're up there, too dangerous. Yeah. Leave it. And they're not going to go back to the nest. It's not like bees where they're going to go back into an old hive. Um, Once wasps the nest is and hornets, dead, it's dead. That's it. Once it's dead, it's dead. For example, that tree is, I would say, 10 metres up. Chances are, if you've got an Asian hornet nest, it'll be up at the top in the canopy. Now, you've got two options, or the previous options, is to shoot out the sky with a 12-bore. Uh, yeah. Alternatively, you get someone to climb up there and uh, get the nest. What they were doing before, or in, in Jersey, they don't like to use insecticides. Okay. Well, unfortunately, you've got to kill it. There's a time and a place for everything. Exactly. If you can, if we, it's the same with us. If we can get away without using something that's toxic, we will do it. And legally in the UK, that's the way it should be. That's exactly the way it should be. So here we are with the... What do we call this? This is my Lance Telescopic, which is a telescopic pole. Okay. But we'll just go back to uh, the Jersey bits. So options of, killing, of destroying that is to get a uh, climber up there to um, lift the nest. Wow, that's oh, a brave man. Brave man. <laughs> yeah. It's too wobbly, it's too inflexible, too flexible. Yeah. It won't work. Alternatively, you can get a cherry picker and you can chop branches down and lift the nest. Do not remove it live. Kill the nest first. If you want to do experiments on it, kill it. Yeah. It shouldn't be here. Kill it. Yeah. Absolutely. Kill, 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 kill it. Yeah, so here we are, and this is the bit of kit for sorting out Asian hornets that are up in a, a high tree. Yeah. This is the Unger Lance Telescopic. There's two. One is uh, aluminium. This one is on uh, carbon fibre. Yeah. This one will do six metres. It's a bit heavier. That's the master. How many metres will this one do? This will do 20. Tw this one will do 20 metres. You can get it to extend up to 30 metres. Wow. Uh, that one, the tube goes inside the, uh, the lance. That one goes externally and it'll just clip onto these. Oh, things. you just strap it in these little bits here, look, Rick. So the tube goes down the side, down to the DR5, yeah. which is a pressurised container for the powder, and that shoots it up and out, out the top, out of the spike and into the nest. Right, so same principle as that one, but I forgot my cables first because it's January. <laughs> um, I'll just show you how it quickly goes up. And for it, you'd have the, uh, the hose pipe coming out the top. Up to there, next one. Next one. But bearing in mind, with this, you can't go... You can't free hold it. It has to be supported on a branch. So what I do is move it up there. Then the next extender goes always underneath. So it's never going to be wider than that. And I can go up and up and up and up. Until you get just underneath the nest and then boom. Infinitum. And you just keep going and going and going. Yep. So you notice with that, I haven't used a cherry picker. 
Um, I've used 100 grams of insecticide. Um, it's just me. I don't need a big lorry, don't need a pickup. Um, I don't need to chop any branches. No twigs have been broken, no branches have been broken. And you're a long way from the hornets. A long way from the hornets. I can sit. Which is always a good thing, I think. I stand always on the ground. Yeah. I'd never have to climb a tree. I charge the same price as doing a wasp nest, which is a reasonable price, not a yeah. discounted price. So Absolutely. the price is correct. I work with the police. It's just me and that. Job done. Take note, UK. Take note. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you have to do. That's brilliant. Just stick it in the nest, inject it. Job done. This, this pole will go up to 20 metres, but you can get them up to 30 metres. The pole is about two and a half grand, but if you charge 100 euros, it's 25 nests. This has already paid for itself. Job done. Invest in your future. For treating pine processionary caterpillars, it's the same, same bit of kit, except for I've got a little secateur with a bit of rope on it to, um, to cut, cut off the cocoons for the uh, pine processionary caterpillars. But same principle for the... Uh, Asian hornets, stick oh. the pole up, inject the nest, job done. Excellent, excellent. Easy peasy. And sometimes even those poles aren't long enough because the Asian hornet is a bit sneaky and gets really high up in those trees. So what Robert does is he uses paintball guns and he loads the paintball with an insecticide, a half paint, half insecticide so he can see where the shot has gone to and he fires that into the actual nest. I hope you've enjoyed this and thank you so much for uh, Robert Moon and his, and his wife. Thank you very much from uh, Applicator 3D, like I say. There'll be links in the description. Uh, enjoy this video of how to blow them out of the sky. <laughs>